What's up guys, Atom Bacon here. Welcome back to more Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, we met up with all of the, well, the members of the Literature Club and got our first assignment. And now, we are heading home. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Oh yeah, you might notice the uh, aspect ratio is a bit different uh, this time around. <laughs> um, I have my recording set up slightly differently than I did last episode. Um, oh. I, yeah. Got a little frame around it now, just make things a bit easier. Okay. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy s s spending a Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to these four girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh. Oh, I'm actually writing the... Okay. Fester. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, boop. <laughs> I, I read. Let's just say I thought the stick was up. Uh, I got philosophy. Um. <laughs> okay, it seems I'm appealing mostly to Monica. Um, mm, secretive. Oh, that's scary. Uh, family. This is, okay, I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Um, question. Oh, okay, that's her. <laughs> I have not appealed to Natsuki at all. I, um, raindrops. Um, <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Crimson, anxiety, death, flower, socks. <laughs> that appealed to Natsuki. Okay. <coughs> cool. Um, hope vivid university. Let's go with excitement. Um, uh, comfort. Oh, I love how Natsuki just seems so surprised at comfort. <laughs> Parfait. Um. <laughs> Inferno. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Vivacious? I don't even know what that means. It's great. Okay. Uh, 15 more. Or 13 games. Rose. I get the feeling that this is going to be like a Mad Libs sort of thing. Which... I kind of hope it is, because that's actually a really funny concept to me, of just, like, a predetermined poem with me and putting, like, these Mad Libs-style words in the middle of it. Uh... Candy. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> Melancholy. Massacre. For a sec, I thought that said mascara. I kind of wish I was wrong. Or I wish I was right. A massacre, guess he... So Yuri is, like, fucking over here. I mean, not really, but... She... Uh, fireworks! Last one! Smile! <laughs> oh boy. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Again, Atom. Glad to see you. Mm, 
Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I'll keep. But I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was, I was lost to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Atom. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I'm making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. See, you already told me you didn't want to join the club this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to come here just to hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, you won't see the end of it. Nasty, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Natsuki finds herself stuck between Monica and Manga. <laughs> oh, between saying Monica and Manga. Honestly, I thought Monica was going to say, you certainly have a big mouth for someone so small. And no, I'm not referring to that. I was referring to her height. <clears throat> One thing I do like about Let's... I mostly do Let's Plays of console games. As you can obviously tell, I'm on a PC here. And one thing I do like is I can just use my mouse to point at anything that catches my interest to make sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because, <laughs> yes, clearly, this is the most interesting poster. But, no. That, that's going to come in handy. I'll try not to put it anywhere obnoxious. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuka pl Nats Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't... Don't worry, guys. Atom always gives his best, as long as he's having fun. That is true. I will I will agree with that. He helps me with busy work, even without me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. One of which I like. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is messy, it's so distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is, is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be just a little jealous. How come? You and Atom can become good friends, too. Uh, um... Sayori, hmm? Uh, as usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she, she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri, you brought something today, you know. Wait, Sayori... Uh, I, I, I think I read a line or two way wrong. Oh, Yuri even brought you something to- Okay, that's what she said. I- I- I could tell by the follow-up lines that I read that wrong. <laughs> Me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it really wasn't. Uh, what do I do? Uh, sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It will make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book you thought I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Y Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I, enthusi I enthusiastically take the book. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a, buried in a book. I can't help but notice her, her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. <laughs> I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. I'm too tired to read. I'll probably fall asleep right now. 
close my eyes and end up listening to serious conversation with Monica. It's probably going to seem really lame compared to all, all of the other clubs, though. <laughs> well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. Our problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that all going, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That solved the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the things to speak their, spark their creative minds. We can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Siri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberate like this. <sighs> That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative Tommy. <laughs> cupcakes speak to my creative Tommy. <laughs> uh, there's a little spark of humor in there. Eh. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sierra is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sierra can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up her, I end, I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it is to see the world through her eyes. Oh, speaking of her eyes, damn it, folks. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sierra's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Uh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? I think every high I think like every high school senior wishes there was a napping club. Like right in the middle of the school day. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sari. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh... Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this week have you gotten up on time? That's it. It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. Can't even do that. Look, Siri, it's written all over you. Siri glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all over here. <laughs> I run my I run my I run my fingertips down the side of Sierra's hair, trying to straighten it out. And you really need a brush for this. My hair is really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. <laughs> and there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. <laughs> I try to wipe the stain off with my fingers, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. <coughs> Fortunately, I don't really care about that. <coughs> hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Eh, this is so funny. What is? Well, 
I was just thinking how weird it has to f- have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Be careful. Button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? <laughs> of course. Of course. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you will notice sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? God damn it. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look so much better now. So, uh, Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? It's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Whew, that's so much better. So he puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that? Uh, say, and why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let me do things like this. Oh, he wouldn't let you do things like this. And you and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if I'm going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. <laughs> I guess so, huh? So, maybe you could come wake me up in the morning? You're doing it again, Sayori. Ah, uh, but I was joking that time. It's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. That's what I've been waiting for. Why don't we all share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Atom, I can't wait to read yours. Neither can I. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I failed to... I don't think I failed to sound enthusiastic. I, I think I sounded pretty enthusiastic there, honestly. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? You bet I did. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. That's true. I I do enjoy writing, but I'm actually really bad at poetry. Like, from time to time, I'll try, and I, like, try way too hard. Oh, whoops. Whacked on my table there. I don't know if that shook... The, well, it shook the mic. I just don't know if that got caught. Um... Oh, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori, Sayori and Monica haste, enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote her... Sorry about that. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. notebook. I can already see that Monica's... from what I said. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. Do the same myself. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm kind of leaning toward Yuri, actually. <clears throat> Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. <clears throat> I can trust her opinion to be fair. Eh. <clears throat> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, uh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force it. Oh, it's fine. I thought she was saying, like, the poem's fine. Don't force yourself too hard. Because <laughs> I was just talking about how I try way too hard when I, whenever I try to write poetry. <laughs> <clears throat> In fact, probably the most fluent poem I ever wrote came from just seeing how small I could write. I fit, I fit nine lines of uh, text on three lines of, uh, like, line paper. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. It, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. 
Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I can feel so much concealed smugness behind that face. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No. Uh, did I just raise my voice? Oh, sorry. Yuri, Yuri buries her face in her hands. Um, her hands are down there. Uh, I mean, I know they only have so many sprites, but you could have made, you, you could have made the text, you know, match the sprite there. It'd be easier to make the text match the sprite than to make the sprite match the text in that situation. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. I might take Yuri a while. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What are you saying? Right. Um, it's just their specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and I, and I. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in write new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick writing styles separate from topic matter, and they form fit the two together. I mean, you're not wrong. That I never thought of it that way, but that actually really accurately describes how I am when I try to write poetry. So, spot on with that one, Yuri. The end result is that both style and expressiveness are weakened. Yeah, that sounds about right. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if she, her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and tex techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. It's just finding them and building them. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki-be- Natsuki-be? Natsuki-be? Natsuki- Nats- Bah! Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to, apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. D do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought, my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Light <coughs> The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The, the last remaining street light to love withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the snickering, by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathe. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the pet. Of the present, but lit. What? I bathe. Calm. Calm. Fuck. Okay. This lot. Why is this line giving me some. Th this font's kind of weird. <coughs> I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I, f I flicker back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have terrible handwriting. Ah, uh, it's not you. It's me. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it... I don't know if this is coincidentally scripted, or if it actually has different lines of dialogue, depending on how quickly you read. That would be a cool design. That'd be really cool if it actually tracked how long it took you to read. And, uh, depending on how quick or slow you were, gave you different lines of dialogue. I mean, I, I don't know, but, but that'd be cool if it did. <coughs> uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. 
It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh, huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Atom. Really? I must, I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it. Excuse me! <laughs> but remembering... Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being... Sorry. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her past remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy you think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Well, I think next... We're going to show to Natsuki, because I'm actually curious about what they meant when they said she was a bit biased. But, we're going to do that in the next episode. I don't want to make these too, too long. And I'm coming close to the half hour mark on this one. So, <coughs> next episode, we will show our poem to the rest of the three girls. See you guys next time.